Have you ever felt stuck as a Christian and you felt like you just weren't growing, you weren't moving? Well, I had a struggle like that and I wanted to tell you the story of uh, right here actually at Columbia Avenue at my friend's house. Uh, a couple years ago, it's 2019 Christmas parade. I was, uh, I was here at Cedric's house and uh, we was just getting ready like we was every other year to watch the Christmas parade with all of our family and friends. And um, I had a struggle that I've been praying about for a long time, how to, how to talk to people about God and how to just something as simple as inviting somebody to church that I just struggled with so hard that I've been praying about for weeks and weeks and weeks. And uh, I just asked God to kind of baby step me into it, just uh, to just make it easy, not be, not be embarrassed by any means, just to be able to be, uh, just to be something nice and easy for me to be able to do. And uh, as a Christian, I, I kind of struggle with that. And uh, so we were right there by the road. We were waiting for the parade to come through. And by the time the parade started, uh, the small businesses come through and then the uh, like clubs and organizations come through. Then it was time for the churches to come through. Well, the churches come through and everybody was just in amazement at all the different different floats. And uh, one of the churches had Bibles that they were handing out. And the line of us right over here, uh, there was a couple of adults, there was all the kids, myself, my friend Cedric, and it's more of our friends. So I was at the first adult past the kids. So one of the one of the members of this church was handing out Bibles, walks up to me and hands me a Bible. And he says, hey, would you like a Bible? And I told him, I said, man, I said, I appreciate the offer. I've got three. Please give it to somebody who needs it. And as soon as I said that, my friend Cedric reaches over and grabs that Bible from that guy and says, man, I need this in my life. I need that Bible. And I just stopped. I was shocked and looked at him. I said, you okay, dude? He's like, yeah, man, I just really, you know, life's going on. I just really need this in my life right now. And I looked, I stopped and kind of grinned, looked up. I said, really, God? Really? And I said, man, I said, you go church anywhere? And he said, he said, I did. I grew up in church, but I never, I always felt like I was being judged just because of all the dumb, dumb decisions I made being a teenager and a young adult that uh, I just never really found my home. He said, where do you go to church? And I just I said, man, I go to River Lake. I said, I think you really like it. He said, you going to be there tomorrow? I said, you know I'll be there tomorrow. I said, they got three services. I said, I'm usually there for the second or third service. Which would you rather go to? Is it 9.45 or 11.15? He said, I'll be there at 9.45. And it, as simple as that. Like, God could not have made it any easier. Just that short conversation. And after he got that Bible, he just kept on looking at it in his hand. Like, you could tell he was really, really wanting it. And I, I offered to him, as a man, I said, I said, uh, after church tomorrow, if you want to, you know, go over some verses or whatever, if you ever want to meet up a different day, I'd be more than glad. I live right down the road. I'm more than glad to come over and talk to you. And he said, man, I really appreciate that, man. I'll see you tomorrow. So we enjoyed the rest of the parade. And uh, to this day, my friend Cedric is at church every week that is open. And we have a special bond because of that moment that God made for us. And he's actually my accountability partner. So we keep in touch with each other constantly, just updating. And I can see how his life has changed and I know how my life's changed just because of that one moment. And sometimes just that little struggle that we need to kind of get past and know that everything's gonna be okay, that God's got us. And uh, another funny thing is I'm wearing this shirt that some of y'all may or may not know if you've been to River Lake for a while. This was a shirt that Nick uh, did a series about and uh, basically the shirt has a plus and a multiply sign on it. And whatever we could bring to the table, God can multiply. And I wanted to share that because I told this same story to a guy at work. And as I was telling him that story, he was grinning at me the whole time. And I kind of just stopped and said, what? And he said, keep on talking. I'll, when you get done, I'll let you know. So I told him the story and he told me, he said, what would I tell you? Or what would you tell me if I told you that the guy who handed out those Bibles with his church goes to or works where we work right now. And I said, really? And he said, yes. He said, let me introduce you to him. 
So he introduced me to him, and that same guy had another struggle like I did, that he was wanting to grow. And uh, it all started with them building that float to, uh, to usher in a jolly white fat guy that had nothing to do with Jesus that he just had a struggle with that. So he's like, how can I put God back in this parade? So he stopped, he prayed, and he said God told him to go and buy 25 Bibles. So he went out and bought 25 Bibles and sat it down on that trailer. And the next day when all of them returned, they had said, uh, what is that? And he said, that's 25 Bibles I went and bought. And he's like, all right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna match you. So they ended up having 150 Bibles instead of just 25. And then here it is years later that they got more and more and more. And the year that my friend here got a, got a Bible, they actually handed out 1,500 Bibles. So whatever we can bring to the table, God can multiply.